Okay, so to get ourselves started here, what we're going to first do is talk about the project that we're going to be building over the course of the next few sections that will help us really come to terms with how Vue works and, you know, just how to create basic components in Vue and uh, make them do what we want them to do. So the application that we're going to be building here is a friend tracker application, and I'll just bring that up here for you. So the friend tracker application that we're going to be building is basically just going to allow users to keep track of details about their friends. And building this application is going to give us a lot of opportunities to see different facets of the view library. So let's just walk through this real quick just to get a basic idea of what we're going to be building and some of the functionality we're going to be adding. Uh, Again, this is an application that will allow users to keep track of details about their friends. It's going to allow them to keep track of things like their age, their bio, their birthday, their interests, etc. And also it's going to allow them to edit all of that information. Okay? We'll talk about what exact skills these things are going to focus on in just a minute here. But it's also going to allow users to add new friends information. Okay, so they'll be able to do that. And they'll also be able to do things like delete their friends if they don't want them in there anymore. And also it will allow them to keep track of their own user information, such as name, age, bio, birthday, interests, etc., and edit that as well. And later on down the line, we're gonna see how to actually add user authentication so that users can log into this application and keep their data separate from other users' data. All right. So a few of the things that this project is going to allow us to figure out is, first of all, it's going to give us a lot of experience with creating some fairly in-depth interfaces, right? Now, I don't claim to be a very talented web designer here. As far as web design goes, this stuff here is mediocre at best in general, but it is going to give us the ability to see how to use reusable components, which as we talked about are a key part of the Vue library and developing Vue applications. Uh, we're going to be able to use view components to create reusable pieces of the interface, right? So you may have noticed that these cards here that we're displaying user information inside of are reusable components, right? We're, we're displaying the same basic DOM structure with different information inside of, you know, that card. And the same thing is going to be true throughout our application. So you may have noticed that the... Uh, component that we're displaying here, right? We're displaying this interface that will show all of the user's information. That's going to be the same component as we're using for displaying the user's own information, right? So there's a little bit of code reuse there going on. And also the form that we're going to use to allow users to edit their friend's information is going to be reusable as well. And this will give us a lot of experience working with forms in Vue, which is an extremely important part of, you know, front-end development in general, since that's the way that users will generally interact with our site. And that form, by the way, is reused in this new friend page. So anyway, we're going to be building out all of that functionality. Uh, we're also going to be seeing later on, as I said, how to add user authentication and how to do things like load data from a server, which we'll get to later on. But overall, this is just going to give us a great introduction to building applications with Vue. So now that we know what that is going to look like, let's get started. Now, we already created a view project, right? This My First View project project that we generated earlier. But in order to start fresh and get a little bit more experience just creating new view projects, since that's a pretty common thing to do, we're going to just create a new project and write all of our code for our friend tracker application inside of there. So let's navigate back to wherever you're keeping all of your view projects. Mine is just in a folder called view, and we're going to generate a new view project using the view CLI. All we're going to need to do is say view create, and we're going to call this project friend tracker. And that's about it. We're just going to hit enter, and that's going to ask us the big question, which is what version of view do we want? We're, we're going to pick view three and hit enter. And that should generate a new view project for us, which we should be able to open up in our IDE. So there we go. It's done. We're just going to open that. Uh, you can either just type in code dot into the terminal here, or you can just open it up inside of here. I'm going to have to actually go back and find that here, view and friend tracker. And I'm going to open that up here. And we see that we have our new view project, 
with all of the different files that we talked about earlier inside of it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do here just to get a little bit of experience with creating view interfaces is we're going to open up our source directory and open up app.view. And remember that this contains a lot of boilerplate code that Vue has given to us, right? Uh, it's displaying this other hello world component. We're gonna delete basically all of this here. Well, not all of it. We're, we're gonna leave the surrounding tags, right? So we're gonna delete everything inside template. We're gonna delete not everything inside script. We're gonna still leave the export default thing and we're going to remove this components property. We'll talk about what all of these things are that we're deleting a little later on. And we're also gonna delete the stuff inside of style, okay? So what we're gonna do instead is we're going to start off building a very simple interface in view that will display the profile information for a given user, right? So we saw earlier in the application that the user profile page, basically what it does is it displays the user's picture like so. And then below that, it's going to display some information, right? So it'll display their name, which will be something like Sean Wassell. It's gonna display their age, their bio, their interests, etc. lots of other things on the page, right? So this is a pretty straightforward interface and that's why we're gonna use this just to get our hands dirty with creating our first real interface in view. So what we're gonna do first of all is inside this template, this, this is where we define the basic DOM structure of our view components. Inside here, we're gonna start off by displaying the title of the app, which will be friend tracker. Oops, we'll have that be two words there, friend tracker. And that's gonna be an H1 tag. And then underneath that, we're gonna display the user's profile picture. So we're gonna use an image tag for that. And now is a good time to if you have a good picture of yourself lying around on your computer, we're going to copy and paste that into the assets folder, right? This is where we store things like uh, static photos in our view projects. So I'm going to copy and paste a picture of myself over from another project, and we're gonna paste that into assets. So we'll say paste. And there's a picture of me. It's a pretty good picture if I do say so myself. So find one of yourself. I don't recommend using a picture of me in your projects. That's just kind of weird. Uh, so now that we have that project, the way that we're going to display that in this image tag is by saying source equals, and we're gonna say at slash assets slash, and then whatever the name of your picture is. In my case, that's gonna be my profile pic.png. And what's going on here is this at sign is referring to the source folder, right? So Vue is going to obviously change that around when it builds our project. But basically, this is just referring to this specific place in our project's uh, folder structure. So anyway, that's how we display static images in our site. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to want to add some alt text to our image. So we'll say Sean smiling. And under that, of course, we're going to uh, constrain the height of this image to something like 200 so that it doesn't take up the entire page on our browser. And that's our image. So let's run this thing right now to make sure everything's working so far. And to run a view project, you might remember, we're gonna type npm run serve. And that should build our project and host it on localhost 8080, all right? Oops, it looks like something's already running on localhost 8080, so it opened up to 8081. I'm actually gonna go over and stop that thing from running. That was the other uh, pre-existing project that I just showed you that I had up there, so I'm gonna kill that and restart it. And we should see now that it's running on port 8080, just like we're used to, all right? So let's open that up here and what that'll look like. Oops, there we go. We're gonna see friend tracker up here as the H1 heading, and we're gonna see the image of ourselves displayed underneath that. So next up, what we're gonna do is display some of the user's information. Up at the top of all of that, we'll have an H2 heading that says something like my profile. And then underneath that, we're going to have the user's information. First one is going to be the name, which will be H3. We'll say name, and under that, we're gonna display the user's name. So I'm just gonna hard code mine, but you should definitely use yours. Under that, we're gonna have age. So that'll be an H3 heading as well. We'll say age, H3. 
And my age, since I'm getting up there in years, is going to be 100. There we go. And under that, we'll have our bio. My bio is going to be something like, uh, we'll say, paragraph, I like to program. I also like food. Story of my life right there. And underneath that, we're going to have birthday. I'm not going to put my real birthday. I'm just going to put uh, March 1st for this. So H3, paragraph, March 1st. And last but not least, I'm going to have my interests. So this is going to be a list. We'll have the H3 heading say interests up at the top, H3. And under that, we're going to have an unordered list with my interests inside of there. All right, so inside here, we'll just have a bunch of list items. For my interests, I'm going to put programming slash li. We'll do li data science, li. We'll do gardening slash li, and we'll do foreign languages like so slash li. Oops, let's do languages, there we go. And that's going to be our first major user interface creation here. So if we take a look back at this in our browser, oops, that's not it, that's just gonna close that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go back to here and we should see all of those HTML elements that we just created and displayed inside that view component are now displayed in our browser like so. All right, now, what we've done here is we've gotten our hands dirty, creating a basic view interface. However, there are a few things that we should be asking ourselves at this point. The first thing we should be asking ourselves is, is there a way for us to have it so that we don't have to hard code all of this information into the uh, user interface, right? In other words, is there a way that we can sort of leave a blank open for the user's real name, their age, their real bio, their birthday, etc., so that we can insert the data of different users into this component and have that data displayed inside the same DOM structure. All right, so that's the main concept of reusable components that we talked about earlier, is being able to display the same basic user interface, but with different data inside of it. Now we're gonna see how to do this very shortly, but that's the first thing that I want to bring your attention to. The second thing that I want to bring your attention to is the fact that we wrote all of this DOM structure inside the app component. As we mentioned, the app component is the highest level component in our view applications, which generally means that this component is going to have some pretty big responsibilities. So the next question we should be asking ourselves then is, is this app component the right place for all of this user interface code, right? Shouldn't we be uh, using the app component to deal with things like routing or displaying navigation bars, right? Things that are on a higher level than just displaying basic user information. So uh, this is actually going to involve, just to give you a little bit of a spoiler, this is going to involve breaking all of this out into its own reusable component. So we'll see how to do that uh, very shortly as well. But for now, those are just two things to think about, right? How do we render in actual JavaScript data to this user interface? And where can we put this interface stuff so that it's not in what's generally considered the most important component in a view application? So anyway, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.